This is the story called William, the Backward Skunk. William was a skunk. He lived out in the country like all other skunks. William was small and cute and shy like all other skunks. And he had a rather strong perfume like all other skunks. But while all other skunks have a stripe running down the back, William's stripe ran down his front. Not at all like other skunks. From a distance, no one could tell he was a skunk. Not even a fox. Foxes are supposed to be very smart. Until he got very close and he got a whiff of William's perfume. Then he discovered his mistake. There was also a hungry bear who made the same mistake. And a panther. It was terribly confusing to all of them. They became afraid to attack a squirrel, or a chipmunk, or even a woodchuck, because any one of them might be a backward skunk. Finally, in desperation, all the big animals called a meeting. They had to do something. They wrote a letter and sent it by airmail to William. Mr. William Skunk, we, the undersigned, feel that you should do something about your personal appearance. You do not look like a skunk, yet you smell like a skunk. We are afraid to try to catch anybody for breakfast. It might be you. Please try to cooperate by making yourself look like a self-respecting skunk. Otherwise, we will starve. Sincerely, Grizzle E. Bear, Sanford Panther, Fred Fox, Jr. Now, this was all news to William, but he certainly didn't want to be the cause of anybody starving. So, he decided to do what he could about putting a stripe down his back. But, the whitewash washed right off in the first rain. And when he tried adhesive tape, disaster! He even tried walking on his back so his stripe would show, but then he couldn't see where he was going. Then, one day, in a discarded magazine, he saw an ad. Acme Guaranteed Skunk Stripes. Send for free sample. He sent for the free sample, and in due time, it was delivered, also by airmail. William read the instructions carefully. Always a good idea. He was about to try it when a squirrel came down a nearby tree to see what was going on. A squirrel with a bad cold and a stuffed up nose. He couldn't smell William, but he could question William. So William told him the whole story. And the squirrel said, look, if you put a stripe down your back like other skunks, all those fierce animals will start eating us again. He also told William how happy the little animals were now that nobody was eating them for breakfast. And he told William of a plan that he'd thought up to keep the little animals from ever having to worry about being breakfast again. William thought it was a wonderful idea, and they set up shop in a huge old hollow tree. So, the very next morning, squirrels, chipmunks, field mice, and other little animals lined up. Line forms here for anyone who is tired of being eaten for breakfast. They all went into the hollow tree as squirrels, chipmunks, and other little animals, but they all came out looking like skunks. This was too much for the bear, the fox, and the panther. They all went away, far away, actually, looking for a part of the country where there were no backwards skunks. 
and nobody ever ate anybody again. At least, not in that part of the forest. That was the story called William, the Backward Skunk. It was written and the pictures were drawn by Chuck Jones.